So today we are working on these curtains. These curtains have been bothering me for some time. I wasn't quite sure why they were bothering me until last night. I guess I forced myself to uh, actually do some research. What I did was I went online and I looked up Art Deco window treatments and there are some very elaborate uh, and cool window treatments from the 20s and 30s to um, just new stuff uh, that people has, have done. So I got a lot of ideas and inspiration from that and, and realized that these curtains are not cutting it. So I'm gonna keep the bottom part. These are, this is just cream. This is like a cream, just a basic cream curtain from Walmart. This is a white sheer um, curtain, a pair, same. These are both just a pair. So those are gonna stay because those are fine really. But we need, I need to add something more obviously because it's, it's just blah. And these are not cutting it. Basically what I did for this, this is just huge. It's one of these folded in half, hot glued, and then put on a curtain rod. That's all it is, two of them, that's all I did. Uh, so it's nothing fancy, I'm about to take that down right now. I wanted to leave it up to show what was there before, <laughs> which was, um, I don't know what I want to call it. Uh, I definitely put in effort, but yeah, I'm glad I'm taking it down because I knew that there was something about it that was bothering me. And it's the fact that it's not our deco. It, it's, it's not our deco. So, I'm gonna make it our deco. Let's take this curtain. I'm gonna use this curtain See what I mean? It's just a, this is a metal one, like less than five bucks, probably. Um, let's just put that right there. And what I'll do, actually I'll do that for the other one. I don't need that much fabric, so I don't need this one. I'll just toss this one for now. And let's get this one down. I'm still gonna use these rods. I'll put them back up actually, cause I am still gonna use them. They're gonna be the base for what I'm gonna make. So I'm gonna put this right back up. Getting up here, like, <laughs> you cannot, being extra careful is what I'm doing. Yeah, that's not, it's a little bent, but you're not even going to see anything, so I'm not worried about it. This one's straight, though. Whoops. As I said, I had hot glued this. I don't want it to touch the ground. The ground is hot lava. Oh gosh, there we go. That's the nice thing about this hot glue is with force, you can just take it apart. I wonder, I guess I had to hot glue it a couple of times. I guess I could have saved some time and done this earlier. I didn't think about that. Well, I wanted to show what the curtains were like before. That's why I didn't do this before. So there. I did part of it. I'll do the rest in a minute. Um, let's 
get this gold started. Uh, actually, before I do that, da 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 da. More of this styrofoam from Big Lot. I'm sorry. Ooh, excuse me. Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Um, except this time, it's a one and a half inch thick. I can't remember how thick the wall decorations were, um, but it wasn't this thick. I'm glad I, I wanted something thicker since this is going to be for the curtains. It's pretty thick, so it's two in the pack. It was $12.99 for this. It says it's 14 by 11.9 inches. So let me cut this the bad boy open. I got the hot glue going. Let's, let me bring this um, down. So you can see what I'm doing. Okay, get our ironing board. Let's straighten this out. Straighten it out, yo. Is that straight? It's better, but I guess it's like this is a um, little bit like that. Yeah, that should work. Actually, let me pull this back a little bit because I'm gonna need some space. I feel like because this thing is long. I haven't measured. <coughs> Winnie, give it a rest. Winnie, that dog. Hey, it's her birthday, so I'm gonna let her act the fool. Hey. Winnie. So you making your video before you take me out on my birthday walk? I know. But it's because I needed the light, Winnie. She may or may not understand that, but. See how thick that is? It's thick. That's some pretty thick styrofoam, right? That's perfect for what we need it for. Okay, actually, before I start cutting, because I don't have to cut a whole lot, this is going to be the gold piece. Let me pull this out. Let's check that. That's better. This camera. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, what I'm going to do really quick, let's see how wide this is. Yep, it's going to be the whole thing. I'm going to use this whole thing. Yep. I'm going to use this whole thing. Okay, that's good to know. I'm going to use this whole thing. So I should go over my design before I start cutting. Well, what came to me? I started to look, like, as I said, I had started looking up Art Deco wall treatments. And I can't really describe what stood out to me the most. Um, but that I heard a knocking. Um, I'll just make the design. I can't, I really can't explain how this came to me. But it started by doing research, really, and just looking through images, and that was that. It came to me. I spent a couple of hours last night thinking about it, about what the design was going to be. And this is what it's going to be. I'll show you. I just have to get this ruler right here and my marker. So I'm using this whole thing. I need space. Let's, let's go back. There. There we go. Okay. Ruler and a fine point Sharpie. You can use a regular Sharpie. Um, this, I wish I had a regular Sharpie because then the lines would be a lot more noticeable but that's okay and what i need to do since i don't have a protractor or anything lines i let's say that that's what stood out to me about 
the Art Deco theme. Kind of like my wall thingy. Lines, shapes. <laughs> um, I don't know, but you'll see what I mean when I say lines here. Is this the right? Yes. I'm like, is this the right direction I'm going to go? Yes. This is it. So let's measure. Let's say I'm going to pick... Depending on how dramatic I want this line to be, I'll say, I think three inches will be good. So I'm gonna mark three inches on here and then you'll see. Come on, Sherby. Uh, so let's get three inches ready. Okay, that's good. That's about three inches. I wasn't sure if this ruler was gonna reach, but it does. So I'm gonna just go all the way from the corner. Since I'm using this whole piece of styrofoam, I just wanna make sure I'm at the very corner. Come on, there we go. Okay. And I'm just gonna go across. Oops. If the line's not perfect, I'll go over it again. But I'm doing pretty well, so I don't think I'll need to do that again. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna go to this side, same thing, and do three inches. I'm gonna mark three inches on here at the bottom. Okay. So from the corner. I tell you, la I those pictures, the design. You have to look it up. Look up Art Deco bedroom furniture, um, Art Deco design, original Art Deco, Art Nouveau. Speechless. That design, the furniture, everything was just, it was crazy back then. They knew how to do it. Let's see. They really did. So I can cut this now. Jeez, this is like thicker. It's thicker than the, the last styrofoam, so. I'm gonna do this. I can. I can do it. I have faith. Oh, brother. Jeez. This is, big. this is a box cutter. I realized that a box cutter is the cleanest way to cut this, and an affordable way. So today when I bought this styrofoam, I saw they have a machine actually. It was like 30, 35 something or 39. It was under 40 bucks. But it's a little machine that I guess it gets hot and it has some kind of glass or something that it cuts the styrofoam, but I guess it cuts it by melting it. I don't know what the name of it is, but Considering how often I've been using this stuff lately, I think it might be a good idea if I invested in it. It would be a good investment. Just because you can do so much with this styrofoam. First projects go. Be careful with your fingers, of course. This stuff is big. Goodness gracious. You gotta be careful because you don't want to break the styrofoam. So you gotta take your time to come do this big stuff. And that's the reason why that machine would be probably a good investment. Unless you want the arm work out, which is fine. 
work those triceps. Ooh, it's, oh man, that's what I'm talking about. You see how clean that is? By hand, but that took some time. And there's all this stuff. I'm pretty sure with a machine, there wouldn't be all the little white stuff. I can't stand that stuff. So now I'm gonna do this side and then I'll show you the shape and you'll be like, oh, I see where he's going. Where are we at? Okay, we're doing good. Oh, this is too long. It needs to be long enough now. Cutting towards me is just, I feel like I have more control and I can go a little bit faster that way. So, just do what works for you. Oh, brother. clean line so let's show the shape Get this white stuff off that's the shape Cover that in gold. Yes. The same gold I'm getting the hot glue gun. Actually, let me put this. So the gold that I'm gonna use, oh, the gold that I'm gonna use is the same gold that I used on that wall de decoration, those wall decorations, and it's a random gold curtain that I got from the art thrift store. Just one panel. And that's all you need. I got some hot glue sticks while I was at Hobby Lobby as well. Yeah. So let's bring this down. Since we're gonna start putting on the fabric so you can see that. Actually, let's bring this. I think Yeah, that's good. You like that? Okay. Let's see. Here we go. Our gold fabric. And so let's put the fabric down first. Whoa. Yeah. Make sure it's straight. This is the back that we're working on. And we can already start, I can, <laughs> but we, uh, I can already start cutting this fabric because I know it's more than enough. So let me start trimming some of this excess off with these sewing scissors that were given to me by my mom, who's a seamstress, who would be saying, Demarcus, why are you not sewing things? <laughs> and the answer to that question is in two parts. Uh, the first part is 
I like to take the easy way. When it comes to projects, I won't say through everything, but when it comes to projects, yeah, I like to take the easy way. And the second part, the second answer to that, to that question is because you can't sew this, really. I don't know how you would. Somebody, I mean, if you know how, please tell me, but I don't know how you would sew this fabric onto the styrofoam. The only way is to glue it. So, haha, I don't have to use the sewing machine. I love this fabric though. It's too bad I, well, if they would have had two panels at the thrift store, I would have purchased two panels, but they only had this one. And now that I'm using it, I'm getting a little sad because once it's all gone, it's all gone. Like, he's getting sad over it. Yes, I'm getting sad over this fabric. About to be all gone. Okay, look at all that. So I can use that. <clears throat> I'm gonna start gluing the bottom now and then cut the top so I'm not, just so that I have enough fabric. I don't wanna cut too much. This hot glue gun. This hot glue gun's been sitting and heating up and it's ready. So let's get to it. And I can be generous with the glue now because I had a whole bag. So I'm gonna start, yeah. I'm gonna start gluing. Come on, dude. There we go. It wasn't coming out, it's coming out now. I'm gonna put some more here. Let's see. Let's see, I see. Time. The good news is this is not going to take nearly as long as the other video with those wall corner thingies because this is a majority of it. The other two pieces are going to be, they're small, so they're not going to take up a whole lot of time for me to do. It's a lot easier when I can be generous with this hot glue. <clears throat> Take up time being careful. There we go. Pull that down. Keep it tight. So I don't want any loose fabric or whatnot. And this hot glue, remember, is hot enough. As soon as it starts hitting the surface of the styrofoam, it starts to melt into the styrofoam, which is fine because I don't plan on taking this off of this styrofoam, but I could if I wanted to. So, there's that tidbit. I'm already gonna be needing another stick. I'm proud of myself. I've managed to not get any on my hands yet. It's amazing. Because when you do get it on your hands, it is hot. I'm gonna need another stick already. It's a mini, and it's a mini uh, hot glue gun with mini hot glue little sticks. Wait to see this when it's done. I'm telling you. I am telling you. It's gonna be nice. I should have took pictures before I put it up, but that's okay. 
I'm gonna straighten this out before I start cutting. It's straight. Okay, so I'm gonna put this blue gun up because I'm gonna cut the rest of this fabric, this excess fabric in the front. Because I don't need all that. I don't need that much fabric. And it just, dollar excess fabric just makes it easier for you to have lumps and whatnot, all this extra stuff you don't have to deal with. So we'll just cut that right out. But not too much, I'm already getting, uh, I give myself a little bit more to work with. Hold up, there we go. What I really like about this project is how affordable it is. To think that all I had to do was just glue some. The fabric is nice. I mean, if you, it's it's nice. It's nice gold fabric. Um, like it, but as I said, I got it from the thrift store. I got it from Arc Thrift, so I spent maybe like two dollars on it, which is a steal. And then the styrofoam. The first two pack was. $5.99, but it was thinner. It wasn't as thick as this one. I want to look this up and see what it looks like. It looks good. I just want to straighten this out by pulling. I want to create that tension for this fabric to make sure that it stays put as soon as possible. Ah. Got some hot glue on me. There'll be more, I know. Oh, I, I was as I was saying, I like what I yeah, I like that this project because it's very affordable. But also, you can really be as creative as you want to be. If you go, and it doesn't have to be Hobby Lobby. It can be Michael's or whatever, just a craft store. I love Michael's. I just haven't been in there in so long. But I need to go in there. I haven't been in Michael's in ages, that's all I'll say. <laughs> Not for any particular reasons, but I need to go in there for a visit. But any craft store, I imagine they all have pretty much the same things. And it really for me, it's this styrofoam uh, product. They have it in various shapes, sizes. They have these spheres, basically half a sphere. Uh, it was hollow, um, but my mind was racing of all the cool things I could do with those as far as decorative. Uh, you can wrap those, of course, in fabric or in anything else. You know, that's what's cool about this styrofoam stuff. You can wrap it or cover it more so. Uh, cover it in whatever you want to cover it in. So glitter, rhinestones possibilities are endless because I'm pretty sure they have spray on glue now so you don't have to use hot glue there's so many options oh my gosh I could spend a lot of time in there just buying cool stuff that <laughs> that I could use if I made a career out of making arts and crafts and stuff like this absolutely I'd buy that stuff but who knows maybe I will Maybe I will. Anyways. Yeah, they have a lot of cool stuff. But also, stuff, practical stuff that you could use. Like picture frames. Candles. I mean, outdoor stuff. 
patio furniture, indoor furniture, and they always have sales on like basically everything. A lot of things are on sale all the time, which is pretty cool. I like that. I like a good sale. This styrofoam wasn't on sale, but it was only $12.99, so whatever. Oh, look, I'm starting to lose light already. It happened fast. But it always does. Yeah. I pretty much have the design. Ouch, 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 ouch. I had pretty much have the design. Tighten this up. I pretty much have the design for this curtain thing figured out. There's one part that I'm not, I'm on the fence about. I'm not sure if I'm gonna add it. I'm, I have to wait until the end to see if I'm gonna add it or not. Oh, brother. Oh, eat another steak. Also, I felt like this room, of course, there's not a bed yet. I don't have the bed yet. Or the couch that's supposed to go right behind me where this ladder is. Mm. Update about that. So what they were doing, Wayfair, what they were doing on the website for the product page was every day it would be updated for out of stock until tomorrow, which is, yeah, the next day. And they would do it the next day, every day, they were doing that. And then eventually, I guess, maybe they figured out that it wasn't coming until a certain point, and I checked it recently. Well, I did sign up to be notified when it's back in stock, because I will buy it immediately. <laughs> but, of course, I haven't gotten an email. I checked it. Of course, I'm still checking it, even though I haven't gotten an email, just because I know stuff happens and they may get it in stock and I may not get that email. So I don't want to miss out. So I checked it and it said May 1st. Can you believe that? May 1st is when they're gonna, when they're expecting to have it back in. They can have it in before. I'm hoping they do. Uh, but I, it is what it is. I'm not gonna get something else in place of that couch. I already said that in another video. Um, because there's a set for these chairs and I'm not gonna break it up, but um, where, where was I going with that? So oh, I realized this room, it was still a little bland, not bland, but plain. It was missing something. And one area where I could add a pop of creativity and style is with the window. Um, Decoration, when window furnishings, whatever. Let's see how that turned out. What is that? Oh crap! You know what? Well, that answers my question. So there is a drop of hot glue right in the middle from when I had previously used this for something, and I could probably peel it off, but. I'm not going to. I'm gonna go ahead with my idea. Oh, there's more, I see it. Oh no, no, no. yeah, I'm gonna have to cover that up. That's okay, because it's just in the middle. So here it is. I'll tighten it so you can see. I just have to do the edges, but once I tight, pull it tight, that's how smooth it'll be. And there's gonna be something in the middle. Didn't that turn out? See what I'm saying? Look at the edges. It's clean, huh? You know it. Let's do the edges. Um, I'm gonna pull this. I realize that's what it needs to be pulled so I can smooth it out. I could probably steam this fabric if I needed to. If the rink, if there's, if I feel like there's like too much, what's it called? texture on the front. I could probably steam, steam it, but I think that'll work. I think the little bit of wrinkle, just a little bit, it's just gonna be a little bit of wrinkle. I think that'll work. 
I don't want it to be too perfect. You'll see. I tell you that, oof, that hot glue gets hot. What? Did I spill some hot glue? I don't even know how that happened. Anyway. sure if I was gonna do my idea but now I know I am I have to because I have to cover up that hot glue in the middle I mean it's not a lot but I'd notice it and it'd be plain anyway if I didn't add anything else in the middle so ouch 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 but now I know to look out if I'm using fabric that I've previously used hot glue on ouch I need to check where that hot glue is. Cause once you get it on the fabric, I need to say that. Once you get the hot glue on the fabric, it is, I mean, you can tear it apart, but there's gonna be residue that you're not gonna get off. So that's that. You can try and get off as much as you want, but I have not seen, or maybe I haven't tried hard enough. <laughs> that's probably, I haven't tried hard enough. Maybe you can get it off. But as far as I know, you can't get all of it off. You can get most of it off, but you can't get all of it off. Oh, that, that, that turned out nicely. So there is the edge I just glued. I know it looks so messy. Well, it doesn't look perfect because this is the back. Anybody gonna see that? See, there we go. See how smooth that is? Look at that line. I'm telling you. Okay, let's do this side. Yay, we're almost done. I'm telling you, this is the major part. I'm excited because this was the, the big part. Let's see. Inside it. Okay, right there. Let's put some glue on here. Yeah. Shapes, lines, shapes, color. Over the top things. You, got, I'm telling you, you have to look up Art Deco design. And they have some really cool stuff. That she would fall in love with, I'm sure. Make sure I'm pulling this tight enough. Yeah, I feel like I am. How am I almost out of glue already? Goodness gracious. I got a home pack, I'm telling you, I needed it. All of this. this and then I'll let me finish gluing this and then I'll go into that about how we're gonna how I'm gonna put this up here and this is on the back it does not need to be perfect if anybody's looking at the back of your window decorations kick them out of your house okay that's what I gotta say about that so get out of my business don't be looking at how I made it Here's the video link. 
Or you can make it perfect, whatever. I'm not gonna be looking at the back. I don't plan on having to look at the back much at all, so. It's not gonna be perfect. Okay. That is done. Yeah, this is done. Goodness, I'll tell you that hot glue. So there's the back, right? And da, da 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 There is the front. Don't you like that? Did pretty, we did well, I would say, on our sides. That's not, it's not perfect. That's the, that's gonna be at the very top. If, I mean, if Shaq's looking at, I mean, if, he, if somebody, if they're seven foot, they'll be able to see it. But other than that, kind of like wrapping a package. But yeah, that's gonna be, the, that's the back side. Well, inside, but that's gonna be the front. I think it turned out pretty well. This is the line I was talking about. That's glue residue from me previously using this. But, oh, I'm happy about this. Where did it turn out? Okay, so let me sit this. This stuff is thick. I'm gonna sit this over here for now. Because I wanna talk about, I'm gonna leave this here. I wanna talk about how I'm gonna put these curtains up because I think I'm gonna do it right. I'm gonna start doing it right now. So remember there are two of the curtain rods here. How I'm gonna stick this on there. I decided I would like this to be at an angle. <laughs> Look, I would like it to be at an angle. So these are leftovers, but see how they're shaped? I'm gonna decide how I'm gonna do it. Let me get up here. Put it on. No. There we go. That's how it's gonna go. Oh, I love it. Okay. It's gonna go like this. So. So I'm gonna need my, I need this hot glue. Hope it reaches over. Hmm. It should. Oh, I can put the hot glue on here and then take it over. I just gotta decide where I'm gonna do it. I should use this ruler. Where's that ruler? There we go. So I'm gonna put the glue on and then I'm gonna use the ruler. I didn't put the glue on high enough. That's okay. That's okay. That is trial and error with this thing. There we go. Is it straight? As soon as that glue touches, oop, as soon as the glue touches it, it it's on there. It is on there. Okay. 
I need more glue. That's how I'm gonna stick it on there, is by hot gluing the back of that to that. Yeah. same height and they are oh but this hot glue is about to drop Put too much hot glue on here Measuring to see how long these next pieces need to oh, how long these next pieces need to be. They need to be pretty long. So he said three inches. So let's mark three inches again on either side. Just so that I've got a flat ruler to work with, not this hot glue stuck on the bottom. Messing stuff up, I'm gonna vacuum it. I'll do it right on the ground. Okay. There we go, we got our line. Uh, 
a regular Sharpie marker would be a lot easier to work with. I will say that for sure. And... Mm. Let's... I need to send them on. I didn't think I'd have to. Actually, what I'll do... I don't I don't necessarily have oh I can use this I guess. This is not gonna help me. I need to be able, um, I need to get a tape measure or something. Hmm. I need something long, but that ruler's not gonna be long enough. Or maybe, let's do this. Let's see. Okay, so we've got one foot. I don't think we can do two feet, so we'll have to do, let's say two, no, one and, one and a half. One, one and a half is gonna be good. So we'll say one and a half feet is how long these will be. There's our six inches. Okay. Might as well measure this one out right now. Same thing, one and a half feet. There's our one. I'm gonna need this piece in the middle. Absolutely. Let's see. Well, I guess I should start at the edges. Let's do that.
Watch your fingers. of this stuff I can't stand this styrofoam oh brother I can't stand that stuff I got a vacuum thanks a lot yeah I'm gonna be buying that machine I can tell <laughs> Ugh. and you can also recycle styrofoam don't forget it so at the end of the day, if you decide you don't want it, take the fabric off, put it in a recycling. It's not perfect. The angle on the center piece isn't perfect, but this is going to be behind that gold, so I'm not worried about it. I'm going to set this over here for now because I'm going to be using, um, we're going to put the fabric on those one by one. Where's the white fabric? There it is. Tear this in half some more. I do. So the fun part is going to be making it so that there's no glue showing. Hopefully, I can do it. Yeah, I can do it. I can make it work. So, this is gonna be, this is, this is the front. So, let's do, this is the front. This is the front facing me. Put it down, okay. I'm gonna put it down like this. Is the good part of the fabric. It's right here. Pretty much. Double check it just to be sure. There's that line there, but like I said, it's really going to bother me. Oh no, it's fine. Just below the, the line of hot glue. Perfect. I'm gonna hot glue this first right now before I even cut fabric. I don't plan on these videos being an hour long. It just happens that way, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. That's all I can say. Hold the phone. Oh, this is the wrong side. 
See? Jeez Louise. So let me turn this over. Good gracious, I'm glad I caught myself. That's still, yeah, it's still a little wet. Here we go. Now we got the right sides. Okay, there we go. We're on the right page, folks, sorry. Let's see what it is. Actually, we're already gonna have to put You know, just having the glue on there as soon as possible helps you work as far as controlling it and keeping everything, the fabric and you know, moving as soon as possible. I try and get that glue on there at some point. Makes working with the hot glue and the fabric a lot easier. It's hot. It's hot enough to hurt, but not hot enough to burn you. So, I guess. to use this fabric later on so I don't want to cut it too much well I mean what's left and it's gonna make it a lot harder to glue if you have all this extra fabric in there so two of these cream colored creations okay. Okay. Scoop that on over okay, make sure it's tight I, yeah, just like a package, I fold, I'll fold. i fold it just like a package. I sure will. It'll look nice enough. Trust me. Hold that for a second. I get some more glue in a bit. Surprises me how, how much time I spend, um, how much time you, anyone can spend just doing this little project. I mean, this is, it's over an hour, which is, I mean, it may not seem like a lot to a lot of people, but an hour is a lot of, a lot of time. I could do a lot in an hour is my point, but making your own decorations, whatnot, doing it with your own hands. It's worth the time. So, there's that. Ouch. 
Okay. Let's start on the top. Well, bottom, I guess. This would be the bottom. Okay. That's pretty tight. Again, just like a package. Oh, it's hot. Ooh, it's hot to the fabric. Oh my gosh. I do what I like about this hot glue. It's how fast it dries. I love that. It dries super fast. hot glue goes fast, I'm telling you. I have to go through a whole bag. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, it looks great. That's an off white. Looks nice, right? The inside. That's what it's going to look like. The final product. Let's finish it. We have one more of these. I'm going to glue this bad boy up. Okay, almost done. Yay! Yay! Oh, wow, that's gonna... Is it gonna work out perfectly? No, it is not. I guess that'll work. Will that work? It's gonna be at the very top. Yeah, that'll work. I 
Ouch. Goodness, all over my fingers. Okay, this is done. I want to put it up. Um, I don't even want to wait to make the other one. I want to put this one up first. Like, let's do this. Okay. To decide where, though. I mean, how, well, not where, more so. The starting. I think I've got it figured out. thinking oh I'm gonna need yep I'm gonna need a couple more of these actually for that so we're gonna put up two more of these these will help as far as things being steady So I'm basically marking with my fingers where I'm going to need to put glue. points on this basically where I'm going to be putting glue oh goodness make sure it's straight there we go it's okay let's see what I did one two three four that's where I'm going to put glue and that's basically where it's going to meet and go on that styrofoam let me glue it Oh, let me get a stick ready because I'm getting low on glue. some in the middle too. Okay, let's put it up. Let's hope I did a good job measuring it. I hope I did.
It's not one that's staying. Well, is it staying on this one? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put more glue on here. Okay. More glue. If anything, the glue that I just put on there, putting a lot of glue on this thing. Oh, what's going on? Oh, moving too fast for the glue gun. Okay, let's try this again. This time it'll stick since I'm holding it. I was not wanting to before. Just a little bit longer. Seems like it's on there. OMG, exciting! Oh, nice. Oh, I love it. I love it already. Yeah, that's gonna work definitely. I just need to figure out. Let's do the second piece. So, put this up. Look at that. Look at that. See what I'm saying? How you like me now? How you like that? Isn't that nice? Don't you like it? Don't you like it? Okay, let me stop. I tell you. I ran out of glue. I want to be sure. Okay. That'll work. Okay. Jeez. Now what? Now I have to make the second white piece, but that's the beginning. So let's get to it. This second white piece. This one. Okay, that's the front. And my fabric. a 15 pack and I'm at one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm on the seventh one. Let's have six left. But I'm glad I bought the 15 pack because I've been in trouble.
out. Okay, this is glued on there. I'm gonna start cutting this excess fabric that I don't need right now. Love these sewing scissors. They're there, I think they're called sewing scissors. I'm pretty sure they are. I would think because you use them to cut fabric with, right? Okay. Let's straighten this out. Start on this side. There we go. Yeah. Well, that's clean. Yeah, that's clean enough for me. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a corner, you know. You know, just a corner, just some fabric. Oh, brother. I'm like, oh, that's why. Let's do, my problem is my angles. I have a hard time gluing that way. There we go. It's a lot easier for me. Make it easier for yourself. Actually, yeah, this works. Why? Why do I have to run out of glue right when I'm gluing? to get this one out.
Interesting. Got another one. Just gotta do this side. Isn't that nice? Clean lines. Pull that, make it tight. I left myself just enough fabric on this corner. But hmm. this is gonna be a little bit difficult. Sink. Be like that. I'm already needing another stick. You see how fast I'm going through this blue? It's crazy. Goodness. Just right here. There it is. Let's see if we see that. The first one we put up. There we go. So, I'm gonna make these even. Well, symmetrical, I guess is the word. Right towards the edge. Right there. Okay, yeah, I like that. Right there. Let's see. So. Okay. Got my two spots. Here that I need to start marking. And what I'm marking are the points where I need to put glue basically to match up. Right 
this one more time. That's good. Put a good glob on here. And in the line. Moving too fast for the blue gun. It's not putting out as much glue. There we go. Gonna hold it. So, didn't want to completely stay on. It's not so bad because some of the glue stuck to, when that happens, some of the glue will stick to the, the styrofoam on the wall. So that's fine. I'll just go over it again. This time it definitely will stick. That's what happened before. Why is this glue gun? It's like it's having problems. You're gonna get it together, glue gun. Cause you can be replaced, okay? Dang it! Keeps coming off of this right side. It's getting on my nerves. Like it's not staying. So I gotta hold it a little longer, maybe. See this inside one staying. Yep, it's not gonna stay. What? So what I'm gonna do is bring this hot glue gun over to me so that I can glue this on the wall. I mean, glue this on the styrofoam. Since the styrofoam's being a pain, you better reach.
It's in there. What? It keeps coming loose on me. Why? <laughs> Why me? Why? Let's do it again. I don't know why this one is not cooperating. I'm dropping hot glue. It never ends. Who dropped? It's all the way on there. I don't, I've never seen that before where it's not staying. This time I'm gonna hold it for a little bit. Hopefully this time it'll work. Let's see. Oh man, I'm sorry. Let me. Actually, let's see. Yeah, it looks symmetrical to me. Just looking in the camera, it looks good. Hmm, I'm surprised. Damn it! Ugh! Okay, what am I gonna do? What can I do? What can I do? I have some double-sided tape. <laughs> Let me go get it right now. I'm not doing this. I'm gonna kill this piece. So let's say, okay, it doesn't work. Poster strips, here you go. That's what I'm gonna do. Cause this one at the end keeps falling off and it's getting on my nerves. So I'm gonna do this styrofoam to styrofoam. This should do the trick. Goodness gracious. This should do the trick. Where am I gonna put this? Um, hmm. Look right there actually. Yep, right there. Okay, the command strip work. I'm just gonna put one more in there. Put so that 3M command strip. Tell you, hot glue give me the blues. For the most part, it has been working. I don't know why it wasn't working on that part though. Put one more strip up there. Make sure that it stays. Push that bad boy. Oh crap. It's not. Symmetrical. There. Okay. There. Now it's up. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Mm. You hear that? Did you hear that? That's the sound of me needing more command strips.
there. That is on there. I'm certain that they won't move. Let's move. What's that look like? Checking to see if it fell. If it moved. Why does this keep coming apart? What can I use? Hmm. Because this is not trying to work for me. Oh, well, most of it is on there. Oh, finally. Actually, it's pretty symmetrical. I'm happy with it. Don't you move. Oh, I'm putting it back. I'm putting it up. 
heating it up right now. Okay, so I need to put more glue. I don't know if I say more glue, but I need to put more. Where is it? There we go. So I'm gonna put more glue on here so that it stays. Well, I'll leave this right here because I'm gonna have to get up eventually to put this on the wall. I guess I didn't have enough glue the first time, so let's do this again. With this, because it's so heavy, I'm gonna hold this a little bit longer. Hold it as long as I can, actually. See that. You can see how it's connected. It's like it's pretty glued together though. I don't see it moving. Oh wow, look at that. What do you think? There's a little bit more I'm gonna do. Um, I think I'm gonna add a piece in the middle, but I'll save that for another time. 
Looks good though. I'm with this. What do you think? Like it? It's a final product. I think it goes with the rim. I put I may put a piece in the middle. Um something in the middle of this, like something white. That same kind of off-white in there, but I like how simple it is. I think it looks good. I think it fits the Art Deco thing. I like it. Bam. That's it, folks. So I did one more piece for the middle um, in this fabric that I got from Hobby Lobby. Uh, it's like a gold and white polyester. It was on discount for 99 cents. So I'm going to put this up. It's going to go right in the middle. Um, yep. So I don't, I don't know why this is taking so long. I'm sorry that it's taking so long, but it is. I feel like it's taking so long because good things take time. So the only thing that's changed is that I added this little piece there in the middle, but we're gonna add more. And I'm gonna try and do this as fast as I can because I'm eating a lot of time on this curtain. I did not think I'd eat up so much time on a curtain, but I am. Okay, oh, let's do this. There we go, okay. So we got some more styrofoam. This is the same stuff as the first time. How thick is this? Oh, uh, half inch. I think it's, it's just 0.4 inch. That's how thick it is. So I didn't go as thick as the top of the curtains this time because I didn't really need, uh, I guess I didn't feel the need to go with a really thick size this time for this bottom piece that we're gonna make. I got the hot glue gun going already. I already know the design I wanna make. Well, of course I already know the design I wanna make. I always know what design I wanna make. Oh, there we go. Okay, oh, and let me, I'm actually gonna use, oh, I'm actually gonna use this other piece as a ruler. So I'm gonna get that, keep that out for the design that I'm gonna make for this extra piece for the curtain because I just can't stop adding stuff to this curtain piece. Why, you ask? I think you already know the answer to that question. It's the Art Deco thing. Oh, brother, of course it's not long enough. It's almost long enough. It's long enough for me to um, yeah, it's long enough, basically. I'm just gonna cut this in half. Yeah, we can see this. I think I should back up a little bit more. That's what I'm doing, there we go. So I put this basically halfway. It doesn't all, it doesn't reach all the way, but it almost does. And I can eye the rest. The rest is like an inch distance, so I can pretty much eye that. So you can see where where that line needs to be. Since I assumed this was gonna be long enough. I assumed wrong, obviously. Okay, this is ready. There we go. I thought my pen was out of ink. I was gonna be mad. So, oh, brother. Yeah, I mean, it surprises me how much time I'm spending on this curtain, but at the same time, 
I'm happy that I'm spending so much time on it because it tells me that there's a need there. I see that there's a lot more that can be done as far as the curtain. And I'm glad I'm taking the time to focus on that because I feel like the final product is gonna show. Oh, brother. This line is a little bit off, but hey, what can I say? I'm just saying the final product is, uh, I believe it's gonna show that that's good enough for me. That I took a lot of time on the curtain, but not just that. That it was worth the time. And it is going to be worth the time, absolutely. So let's start cutting this bad boy. There's our line, if you can see it. It's just pretty much right down the middle, diagonally. And then let's start. This doesn't take as long to cut as a thicker stuff, so that's good. I think it's the same in the last part that I got this. I found this really cool fabric from Hobby Lobby. Um, not, it's not necessarily a fabric. I guess it's a trim, but it has this gold. The fab. I mean, the it's polyester. I'll show you. Yeah, I love it. And that's what I'm covering this in. It's that stuff. There we go. Okay, yeah, this box cutter does the job. I'm gonna get this ready, cover this in that trim material, and then, before you put it up, I have to change out the rod for these curtains because it came to me today that part of the problem, well, why I'm not in love with the curtains yet. I like them a lot, but I'm not in love. They're not done yet. I know they're not done yet, so first of all, let's show this. So we got our two pieces now, and they're pretty much symmetrical. They should be. Ha ha, they are. It's, once it's up there, you're not going to be able to tell that little, what, I don't know how big, how big it is, but it's not a lot. There's not a huge difference, so I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. Let's sit this one down, and, oh, I'm glad I took the time to measure this, because it's actually longer than I thought it was going to be. I should show this so you can see what I'm doing. I put it up here and I realize it's too long. It's going to overlap. And I don't want that to happen. I want it to meet in the middle. So I need to mark where the middle is with a marker and then cut it. You know what? I'm telling you that worked out for a reason. There, that happened for a reason. That just gave me <laughs> more room to add something in the middle. You'll see what I mean. Since now, it's not gonna go to a point. But now I'll have to put something in the middle. But that's okay. Let's see what this looks 
Yeah, that's the middle. Okay. So. And before I cut that, I'm going to mark it on here. And the second one, I'm going to mark it just so I don't have to worry about it. It'll be done. And that should work. It should be in the Based on my expert calculation, not. <laughs> we will see. Let's get this bad boy covered in some fabric. But I'm going to have to scoot this up some for the hot glue. There we go. Don't be talking about my colorful pants, okay? Don't you dare. So this is the front, so I'll turn it over. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. We don't have to do that because of the fabric that we're using. Well, I keep calling it fabric and it's not fabric. I'll show you why it's not fabric. Yes. I was gonna be concerned if that hot glue thing wasn't hot, but it is. So, get my scissors. This is the, it's not fabric, whatever it is, but it's got this nice gold uh, mixed in with this cream. It's nice. So that's what I'm using to cover this in. I'm going to do the sides. It's going to get a little bit of a pain. Oh, that's what I'll do. Okay. Let's get myself enough. This, I feel like this is going to be a little bit more time consuming than the, um, <laughs> than the regular fabric would be, but oh well, right? What can we do? What can we do? Come on. There we go. I think these sides are just going to be the hardest part. After that, it should be a lot easier for me to stick this stuff on here. It says it's polyester. It has a very strange... Um, this is kind of a weird material. It like flakes, kind of. Not, it's very small. These very small pieces. I'm glad it's going on the curtains because there's no way this could be clothing. You'd be done with it. You would hate this sweater. Oh, I like that. Looks good already. Come on, hot glue. There we go. Oh, that looks good. Let's keep it going. I got two rolls of this stuff because I wasn't sure I was going to have enough. Where is it? There it is. get more glue. When I went to Hobby Lobby, I had to go to Hobby Lobby again. I like this guy. Yes, I'm here to get more stuff. Didn't get enough last time. 
There we go. Don't be a pain. There we go. A little extra here, cut that right out because this is gonna be on the bottom. I'm not putting material on that part, so. It's like, if I had to describe this pattern, it's like a, <laughs> it's like a glittery cow skin pattern. I mean, not glittery, but a gold, a kind of glamorous gold cow skin design. Kind of. Kind of. But I like it a lot. Definitely stood out to me when I saw it. I was like, oh, I like that. That's gonna be perfect for the curtains. Well, to add to what I have going on with the curtains, which is a lot. <laughs> but it's a good it's a good thing. It's 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 good. It's like I said, that final product is gonna be like wow. As I said it is. Mark my words. Oh man. Tell me why I'm only gonna have enough for one of these, probably. I am so done. I'm done going back there. I cannot go back there. Well, first of all, they're closed tomorrow because it's Sunday, as far as I know. They're still and that closed on Sunday's thing. Second of all, I was there yesterday. I was there today. I'm not going back tomorrow. I was sure that I got enough. I got two rolls of this stuff, but I can already tell that I'm gonna run out of this first roll before I'm done, which means I'm gonna have to go into the second roll, which means <laughs> I'm not gonna have enough to do, you know, I'm not gonna have enough to do this. That sucks. Oh, there is another Hobby Lobby. I can check and see if they have, they should have it. They should have the same material. I'll go there. Maybe not tomorrow, cause I need to give myself a break. Sick of going to Hobby Lobby. Not sick of it, but I don't work there. I don't need to be there every day. <laughs> that's a lot. Every day, that's too much. No, I can't do it. I like it. I redo. I do. That's okay because it is late anyway, so. If I only have enough to do one tonight, that's fine by me. 
so I could use the rest. I'll just do one, do the other one tomorrow. I'd be really surprised if I had a nut. I want it to happen. <laughs> I do. I want it to happen. More glue. See the end of the road already. And I'm going to have to open this second pack. That sucks. Hold on. That just means the video won't be as long. Lucky you, right? I don't know why these things are taking so long. Because. Excellence can take time. fix this, cut this excess off that I'm not going to need. And the manager is there standing right by the like the entrance. So she's the first person, well, not the first person you see, but one of the first people that you see, along with that cashier who she's by. And I know she recognized me because she gave me a look like, oh, hey, you're back again? Oh, hey. And I don't need that look. So I'll have to go to another Hobby Lobby. Oh, I'm folding these edges. This, this material has I guess these little metal pieces at the end, so you can you can bend it, which is what I'm doing for it, all this excess right here. I'm just able to bend it over as I started doing here. Just bend it under see it this way so you can see it. Probably have to put a little glue, maybe a little glue under some of the fabric. I don't think so, though. It's, it's doing pretty well. I like that. You have to work about gluing that bottom. Isn't that awesome? Let me do this side. This one has a lot of extra, so we can cut some of this off. There we go. 
I think this will be the only one that I'll glue. It's this end piece here. But all the other pieces, I will not need to. Oh, see all that? You probably can't see all that stuff floating in the air, but there's stuff floating in the air. That's what I mean. That's this material. That's the only thing I don't like about it. I don't know what that stuff is, but I don't like it. Goodness gracious. So I just got to glue this piece. There's a few here. I will put a little bit of glue on because it will be noticeable. But I don't. <laughs> Ouch, ouch. Ooh, I got a big glob on there. Oh my gosh, that was hot. Hurt myself. I'm in pain, y'all. That one hurt. That's probably the worst so far. Ooh, my poor finger. Oh, the stuff is in the air. Brother. I hate it. Oh man, I hate this stuff. What is that? Good news is I think it just dropped onto the floor. Oh, I hate that stuff. Ooh, that looks good. Let's finish this up. Don't see that last little bit. Stuff. Here we go. Get that off of there. Or finger. Jeez. Ouch. Still hurts. I hate that I have to use two of these, but I don't know. I'm glad I bought two. Yeah, I should just, I'm, I should, I appreciate the fact that I bought two. I was thinking ahead because I, if I had grabbed one and walked away, oh my goodness, can you imagine? If I just had that one, I'd have been so mad. At least I can get one up tonight. Do the second one. Tomorrow, I'll try to get another roll. There was a lot in here. Well, it seemed like a lot. I don't know now. <laughs> I don't know now. But I already started using it. I like it, so there's no trying something else. This is it. There we go.
Almost done. Yeah, that's what I mean. This one is a little bit more time consuming than just wrapping it in fabric. But that's okay. Some techniques take a little longer than others, so. this one. Then I do the sides, trim the top. Folding this bot these bottoms down again, just like I did the first time. Yep, those are good. I don't have to put any glue on those. Those look fine. Mm. I lied. And I need more glue. I tell ya, it never ends. How am I gonna do this last piece? Measure this out. Okay, that's all we were using of that. Oops. 
gonna cut this excess stuff. Off. I can't wait to get the vacuum in here, I'm telling you. Oh, I can't stand this stuff. Ooh. I really like this design, but this material is a nightmare. I'll do it this way, it'll be a lot easier for me to see. corner to fix and then it will be done and it's done oh gosh this stuff is horrible you can see all this stuff floating around so that is the final product Sure, you can see some of that shininess. But I am gonna sit this down for now because we still need to put up well this rod. For this gold, it's gonna look a lot better. It's gonna go with the Art Deco theme than this cheap white. Um, a lot better than the this cheap white rack um, that I have right now. I'm gonna have to drill. I have some of this that exploding stuff in my face. I'm probably gonna have to drill. Ooh, I gotta be careful. Okay, there we go. Take this off. Oh. I tell you, every time you throw something, that was a foul on the floor. What the heck? I just put you on the floor, that's what I wanted to do. Oh, come on, there we go. There we go again. Okay. Got the drill in here, so I'm gonna waste no time. If I can, hopefully I can get this out. Oh, these are these squares.
I had to take those out because the these rods take, they have a thing that holds them up. And I forgot to take those out before um, starting this video. So I'm gonna have to break this and take them out and then bring them back in. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, I'm back, I got them. Let's put these bad boys in. It has to be awkward. There we go. You know what? Oh, I think it's going in. Not to say, I will just use the other screws. Yeah, I'm gonna use the other screws. Cause these screws are being a pain. Oh, there they are. These should do the job just the same. And they don't appear to be as warped as the other ones. I'll do this with my left hand. One down, yay. Oops. I'm sure that this was a good decision. doing it's 
has to go first. Why do you need to go on the floor? Gosh. This is the bottom. That's the front. Turn this around then. There we go. I'm checking to see what's the front of the curtain versus the back. So I can put it on the, the right side. It's the back, okay. Because some of these don't have tags on them, so. This one does have a tag on it. Thank goodness. Oh, goodness. Here we go. See how it looks. Oh, that looks so much better. I'm telling you, that was a good decision. I knew I needed to change those out. Oh, that looks so much better. It really does.
Yep. That looks a lot better. It's something small, but I'm telling you. Oh, so much better. So let's get the hot glue in. This extension cord. So what am I gonna do? I can plug this in over here. Just a second. There we go. Over here. For the hot glue. center it should I'm hoping it does I'm hoping it sticks um we'll see we will see oh okay that could work So I'm putting styrofoam on the very top of this, I mean glue, on the very top of this. This glue actually sticks really well to the metal. It'll probably end because the styrofoam is so white. It doesn't really get weighed down. See if it's holding or not. I let go. on there I'm telling you that that hot glue do we love it or do we love it you see what I'm saying does that look better than what was there before do I hear movement oh my gosh I love it let me pull this up. This is the only piece we're getting done tonight, folks. Unfortunately. But can we zoom in on that? I don't think we can zoom in on it. But I don't know, check this out. Let's see it. Oh. Do you see the difference? between that side and this and this side, I'm telling you, I'm glad I did that. 
Is that coming together or what? I like it. Okay, until tomorrow. So here we are. We are at the last stage of finishing these curtains and I'm so happy to be done with it because it's been work. I spent a lot of time with these curtains, but it was worth it, as you can see. It was totally worth it. But what we're gonna do right now, I'm gonna finish these sides. So I did this side um, and I'm gonna show you as an example. And I'm gonna do the other side right now. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like when it's finished. That's what I'm gonna do now. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna finish that side because it obviously is unfinished. Get back there. Isn't that cool? You can see what it looks like behind it. Okay, anyways. We have hands. Let's see. Scissors. I don't think we have any right now. I already cut this fabric. This is it. This is the side. That's it. That's it. Just this piece of styrofoam. And this is some more off off white fabric. Get a little closer. There we go. So I'm gonna glue this. I don't have a lot of glue, so I have to use this sparingly. Ooh, I hope I don't run out of the glue. I'll be so sad. Let me not speak on that. I think I'm gonna be okay on glue. I did not even think to get another stick, but. I must say, this curtain has been one of my, one of the funnest projects that I've done. I've never done a curtain like this before. Oh, I've never really done a curtain. I spent a lot of time on a curtain like I did with this one and it was totally worth it. It was a lot of fun. And I love the final product, so. It's a win-win. It just took a lot more time than I thought it would, but it's okay. This gun is getting on my nerves. I think it's time for a new gun.
bit. Do not have a lot to waste. This is it, this is the last part, and I can't wait. It was work, I spent hours on this curtain. Like, really? Yes. <laughs> Craziness. I'm gonna take a better video in the morning of what it looks like. Cause it's nighttime right now. But I really wanted to get this done, so here we are. Here we are. Oh. Let go too soon. Almost done. Yay, we're gonna have enough glue. Yay. That is great. I was I was a little concerned, but I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> Come on, glue. There we go. That should do it. I'm gonna just put this up on the side. Just a little bit here. Let me glue this a little bit. Come here. There we go. Just a little bit. There is really just enough glue. Thank goodness, so let's, that's the back side. That's what I did. This is the front side. This is what is gonna actually be shown on the side. Pretty smooth on the bottom. You're not gonna, like that's gonna be glued up, so it's not really a big deal. This is going to be all the way up there, so you see how smooth it is, though. It's just an off-white fabric. I mean, it looks, you can barely tell, tell the difference between that and the styrofoam, but let's go ahead and get this up because this hot glue starts to melt itself. Put this up. Excuse me, I've got the sniffles. It's because it's, I guess it's spring, that's why I've got the sniffles. I'm gonna bring this hot glue gun over it. Because I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna glue it too.
I'm gonna glue this to this white part already that's up there. The fabric, like the glue, the fabric on fabric with hot glue is like, as soon as that fabric touches the fabric with the hot glue, it sticks. So that's, that's what we want. Let's see. I'm gonna make it symmetrical with that one as much as I can. to pick my where my glue points are gonna be okay let's do this I gotta hold this for a little bit. And that top is on there. Glad that worked out. Yep, it's on there. Look at this one. So what I just did was that. Just put that piece on there. So I closed it up. I like it how it kind of sticks up from the top. Um, it doesn't line up exactly, but it, it does give it a nice look if you see it with this one. Like they're the same. I kind of lift up at the at the top. I like that. I'm gonna show the rest of this in the morning, the final product. You'll be able to see it better with the light. But that was it. I just needed to close up those sides to close up all that railing. Nobody wants to see all that railing. All you get to see is this. That's all I want to see. I don't want to see any of the other metal work. All the behind the scenes. And we know there was behind the scenes. There it is. My goodness. It was work. It's done.
Da, 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 da. And here we are, the final product. What do we think, folks? Is that clean or is it clean? Or is it clean? Okay. Got all that covered up. See what that looks like. Got our clean lines on the bottom. I'm happy.